Today's video is brought to you by Braintree Payments. Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, tech fans, welcome back once again to the channel. I'm Eric, your host, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the world's very first Google smartphone. That's right, and that's the Google Pixel. Now, for you folks out there who live in the Google world, like me, most of us PC fans do, then you're gonna find this phone very, very easy to use and simply probably one of the nicest phones you're ever gonna get your hands on this year. So with that said though, let's jump in, let's do the unboxing, check out what comes in the box, talk about those specs, go over the features, check out some awesome camera stuff, and then at the end of the day, talk about how my first 48 hours were with the brand new Google Pixel. So let's go. So obviously there's the box, not too much boxception going on here, but we do have a box inside of the box. Then right up front, we have the phone and its accessories. So we'll go ahead and we'll flip the phone around, just take it and set it off to the side. Inside, we've got all kinds of instructions and stuff like that. So if you, all your quick start guide and all that stuff, that all comes inside of here. I'm not gonna make you guys read it all, you'll be bored to death. First up, the USB-C to standard adapter cable. Then after that, the USB-C to standard adapter plug. Then both of your USB-C on both ends. This is gonna actually work with the including charger plug. What's great about this other cable though too is that in case you lose this or you gotta hook up to your PC, you have both types of cables. So you're covered all the way around with the cable and since USB-C, it's going to be going much faster. Then we have the phone itself. I'm not even gonna bother with anything here. I'm just gonna go ahead and just rip this plastic sleeve off of here, take the phone out and you guys can see the phone in all of its lovely glory. Now the design of the new Pixel, it features an aerospace grade aluminum unibody. And the color on it's white, silver, and then on the very back, you guys can see it has kind of a glass thing here, which is kind of cool. Then we have silver down here with the Google logo. You guys can see the Wi-Fi bands going right across here. The Pixel features a five inch AMOLED screen that features full HD viewing. So you get 1920 by 1080 at 441 pixels per inch. You know, everything's gonna look sharp and clean. The Pixel sizes in at 5.6 by 2.7 by 0.2 inches. And it's also about 0.3 inches thick, depending on where you're holding the phone in your hand. Now, as you guys can see, the screen on here is actually pretty awesome. It features 100% NTSC rating, which means that pretty much all the television programs and all those things that are made are gonna work perfectly and show up exactly as they are on the phone. You also get 100,000 to one super contrast ratio. That's just incredible. And you also get true black, which means that all your colors in the background are gonna be really vibrant against that black background. It also features 16.77 million colors. And a really good thing about it as well is that even even when you turn the phone 30 degrees, you only lose about 40% of the brightness of the phone, so you can pretty much view it at any angle without losing the image. And while we're still on the front of the Pixel, let's talk a little bit about that selfie cam. Now for you narcissists out there, this is a fully eight megapixel camera that features 1080p stuff. So if you're taking pictures of yourself, hey, smile, you're on candid camera. A really cool feature though about the Pixel is the way that the camera can be changed. So if you turn the camera on and it's facing the direction that you don't want, and you wanna take that selfie picture, all you need to do is just go like this with the camera and it switches it to the selfie camera. It may look a little bit awkward in public like you're playing with yourself or something, but hey, if you're not doing that, uh, I don't remember. Now let's flip the Pixel around, let's take a look at the back side. We see the fingerprint reader. Now this is pretty cool because not only is it a fingerprint reader, it also doubles as a notification thing. So all you need to do is slide your finger across it and all of your notification stuff comes down and then you can close it back out to your liking. And last but not least, in the very top, we see the main camera. And there are a lot of features here that I like about this, especially for those people who aren't totally into like doing everything manually. For those automatic people, I like this. 12.3 megapixels, an aperture of f2.0, and just a lot of other things that we'll talk about a little bit more that make this camera, I think, one of the absolute best things about the Pixel. On the side of the camera, we see the control buttons. Obviously, the one on the bottom is your volume up and down, toggling for your song and stuff like that. Above that, we see the power button, but the power button's pretty cool, because like I showed you earlier, all you have to do is double tap that button and you're into the camera. On the bottom, we see the USB Type-C charging port, and then we also see dual stereo speakers. And yes, of course, there's an audio jack. Before we see even more features, let's check out our sponsor, Braintree Payments. Braintree is a code for easy mobile payments. Maybe you're working on the next Uber, Airbnb, or GitHub. Then why not use the same simple payment solution that helped them become what they are today? Braintree makes mobile payments so fast, easy, and seamless, it's almost magical. 
add it to your app with just a few lines of code and you're instantly ready to accept Apple Pay, Android Pay, PayPal, Venmo, credit cards, even Bitcoin. And if by some chance some other way to pay comes along, you know Braintree will support that as well. Braintree's fast payouts and continuous support mean you'll always be ready, whether you're earning your first dollar or your billionth. See fewer abandoned carts and more sales with Braintree's best-in-class mobile checkout experience. Learn more at braintreepayments.com slash TOT. Another feature that I really like about the Pixel is most of the time to put in your SIM card, you have to actually remove the entire back of your phone. That could be a pain in the butt. Some people break stuff. Really, if you're not really mechanically inclined or anything, you can make a mistake and screw it up. But the Pixel, it's very simple. To insert your SIM card, you simply just push this little button on the side, it pops open, you insert your SIM card, and you're up and going. It's very simple and very, very user in tune. For the RAM inside the Pixel, it features four gigabytes of LPDDR4. The storage options are 32 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes. The device that I'm holding in my hand is actually the 128 gigabyte version, and that's pretty cool because that's a lot of space. But what's actually even totally better, and I'll just talk about that right now before I talk about the processor, is the availability to have unlimited storage for your photos and videos. That's right, I said it folks, unlimited storage for all your photos, all your videos, so never have to worry about ever coming up with a thing that says memory full. We all know that sucks. If you're out in public or somewhere, you don't wanna run out of stuff and if a transfer, you can take more pictures of your family, that plainly sucks. But with the Pixel, you never have to worry about that ever again. Take as many photos, stupid or otherwise, of you and your family, and you can all load them up forever with the Pixel. Under the hood and powering the Pixel is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 processor. Now this is actually two processors in one. You feature a single 2.15 gigahertz processor and another 1.6 gigahertz processor. And this is fully quad core 64 bit technology. And for you folks out there who are thinking about doing some video with the Pixel, you will be very happy. You can actually get up to 120 frames per second at 1080 and 30 frames with 4K. So it's totally covering you for filming video. The video stabilization features in the Pixel are very nice. Here you can see it with stabilization on, and then here's another example of with it off. And you guys can pretty much see the difference. Obviously, it's working well. So now let's just check out the camera. Like I said before, folks, if you're one of those people who knows how to totally manually adjust your camera and get the absolute most out of it, there's probably a smartphone out there that may give you more options. But if you're a person out there who likes simplicity, you just want to click, shoot, or make a video, this phone is amazing, and I love the camera options on it. Me, myself, I'm not that kind of person that knows all those camera features. There's people out there that do, but me, myself, hey, I'll admit it, when it comes to camera stuff, I'm a rookie. But you guys can see all the options Options work really well. You get great stabilization, you get great autofocus, and even in low light, the camera takes great pics. You guys can see me and Buddy, we were almost in a dark room when this picture was taken. The camera also features pixel lens blur. And what this does, this helps with your field of depth, which means that you see me nice and sharp, but the objects behind me are a little bit blurry. Now this feature usually only comes on more expensive cameras, so it's definitely a great feature of the pixel. The Pixel features a 2,770 milliamp hour battery. Now this offers a lot of things. Your standby time is up to 19 days, which is pretty incredible. Your talk time up to 26 hours. Your internet use time up to 13 hours. Video playback up to 13 hours. Audio playback with a headset up to 110 hours. That's a lot of damn music listening. And best of all, you get up to seven hours of usage from a mere 15 minute charging period. I like that. The OS on the Pixel is Android 7.1 Nougat, and this is very, very easy to use. Like I said, if you're a person who's a PC enthusiast, you've probably been using Google stuff for a long time. And what I feel is best of all is that when you buy a new phone, there's usually a lot of a pain in the ass with getting all of your information over onto your new phone. And with this, it's very simple to use. You can either transfer all the information from your Android phone, or if you're turning to the light side of the force and coming from an Apple over to an Android device, it'll do that as well. Another thing I find very useful about Nougat 7.1 is in the old days, you actually had to click on an apps tab to get into your apps. Those days are long gone. With 7.1, you simply slide it up and you get access to all your apps. And what's even better is you can simply hold your finger on the button and it gives you options for that app, which is really cool. The Pixel even features a little Google tab. All you get to do is hit it with your finger and then bam, you're automatically into Google. 
If you're like me and you don't like doing a bunch of typing, that means that you talk and dictate into your phone. Now, for you Apple guys, you guys use Siri, but for us Google guys, we get Google Assistant and it works absolutely great. All you do is simply say what you wanna say and it'll take you to where you wanna go. The bottom line, folks, is that Nougat 7.1 is more user-friendly than any other version I've seen out. It makes accessing everything on your phone so much simpler and easy to do. Although it's kind of hard to tell just watching a video, I gotta tell you guys that the screen is really awesome. All the colors are really well represented. When you're watching movies and all that stuff, you guys can see that they're very vibrant and the sound's not all that bad either. Me personally though, I wish kind of the location of the stereo speakers was on the top instead of being on the very bottom because then when you were listening to it, you'd actually get a true stereo representation. As it is, when you turn the phone sideways, the speakers are both to either your left side or your right side. That's just a little bit weird. So we've seen that the Google Pixel takes great pictures, especially for those people who really don't know what they're doing in photography and just want something simple, it works great. But what if you're out and you record a lot of stuff that has to do with like live music and live events? Well, let's see how it does with my uh, very powerful Ignator amp. So let's hear some guitar and some rockin' at some high volume. <laughs> All right, folks, so there you guys have it. I've only had this phone for a couple of days, but so far I have to say I'm so impressed that I'm gonna switch over to this phone. You guys saw before I was debating about maybe even switching off to some other crazy phone by Apple, but after having that, I was very disappointed, I gotta say, but this phone is really cool. The Nougat 7.1 actually meets my expectations and goes a little bit farther. I mean, I was expecting some small little changes, but the changes in 7.1 Nougat are actually astronomical now. Um, you guys saw when I had the LG V20 phone that it wasn't running very well on that phone at all. Obviously, LG recalled all those phones and sent different ones out, but on this phone, there's no recall. Everything is running perfectly. I like it a lot. And like I said, if you're a person out there, you just click and shoot and that's how you like to do stuff. You don't wanna worry about all those manual things and trying to figure out how to do like you're a camera professional, the Pixel rocks i gotta say that i don't know if it's the absolute best freaking camera that's out there right now but i gotta say it's definitely one of the best like i said before also if you like all those manual adjustments there may be something out there better for you but if you're a person who likes simplicity it's just like that on this videos are good camera options are good stereo sounds pretty good like i said before it's a little bit weird i don't know why they really put the stereo speakers down here because whenever you're watching a movie or anything you're watching your you know, smart device like this, so why not put the speakers up here? So if any of you companies out there watching this video, move the freaking speakers, man, because I want full stereo. You know what I mean? I want full stereo. I don't want stereo on the bottom, all to my left. And if you're gonna have stereo speakers on a phone, why not give them true stereo separation? As you all know, we don't watch movies like this. We don't hardly listen to music like this. Everything is like this. So, I don't know. One little small little caveat. At the end of the day though, if you want the 32 gigabyte model, there's $649. If you want the 128 gigabyte model, like I got here in my hand, this one's $749 is a US pricing. Obviously, you know, around the world, pricing is going to be different. The version I have is also completely unlocked, so it'll work with any of the carriers out there. Me, myself, I'm a Verizon guy, so I'm gonna slap my SIM card in here and be up and going. But at the end of the day, I gotta say, just for the short time that I've had the Google Pixel, it's a kick-ass smartphone. All the information about this, if you wanna read more and all that stuff, we'll have that information down below. We have more stuff coming up, speed test, water test, even more stuff on camera and a full video we're gonna film on the Google Pixel and bring it to you guys. So we'll see you guys back in the channel for more tech.